this song? I don't know. I don't know either. either. It's you, just you're, short, you're short if you play it everywhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a song that I know. And this is a guitar. This is beautiful guitar. I, I, I was checking out three different 64 Stratocasters. It's a 64, yeah, that's right. And I didn't yeah. know, yes. And this is your guitar. That's right. I bought this guitar in 1964. In a little store in the north of Germany, in Ostfriesland. Ostfriesland, where, I come from. where yeah, he, yeah. he comes from. For the guys that don't know Otto, it's Otto, me. It's me. It's it's him. Yeah, it's it's the, the the famous comedian. You know, it's like. Well, that's what they say. <clears throat> well, I I remember you from my child days. My sister, we we, we were doing the Breschmittel thing, which is like. Oh a, yeah. Mama, I mag mein Breschmittel nicht essen. Du magst dein Breschmittel nicht. Ich habe Kinder haben es nicht gern, wenn sie immer das gleiche Brechmittel vorgesetzt bekommen. Sie verlangen nach Abwechslung. Und die gibt es jetzt. Denn jetzt gibt es zum, zum Kotzen. Kotzen. Ah, hard to translate. Ja, yeah, but it's um, a little vomiting commercial. Yeah, but it's um, puky it, puky. I was very impressed about your humor. Uh, and my sister, we had always a good laugh on this. And but, it was in the 70s. It was not easy to do those things, you know. Yeah, yeah. You were on the yeah, forefront I of. I remember it well. In introducing words like zum Kotzen, yeah, 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 yeah. and other hard stuff. Um, but those were the days. Yeah. So and I had this guitar, yeah, because I played in a band. I was in a band called the Rustlers, with 14, you know, and we played three o'clock in the afternoon, p.m. For people to dance, and I had all these clear and, and the, 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 the strange stuff we bought. We didn't know about electric guitars, and I, I'm a lead singer, but I played this guitar, mm -hmm. and and then I saw Jimi Hendrix. He had this. It was the other way around. I didn't know what that's like, a strange like guitar. Yeah, like this, this. Yeah, yeah, like this. And I heard the sound, and I was amazed by the sound. So I want. And, and then I saw Rory Geller, everybody had a guitar like this, you know, it's yeah. a Fender Stratocaster, yeah, yeah, I want, a, I want one. <laughs> so I bought, they bought, my Ben and I, we were four of them, we bought a Fender Stratocaster at the little store in Ostfriesland, in, in Oldenburg. Oldenburg. Oldenburg, yeah. man, and it costed 1,200 Deutschmarks, that's about a lot, yeah, four, it, It's a lot of money. It was a lot of money those days, it's yeah. $600 or something, you know. You could almost buy a car for it. I, I, did, I, I bought my car for six hundred dollars. Ah, yeah, I remember that <laughs> Fiat five hundred. Yeah, and 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 I had this guitar, and I have to pay it back. You know, it was it was a, like a mortgage. I have to pay every <coughs> week, every uh, week, hundred dollar. Mm. So we had a gig every week, and I played with this, and we played the Renegades, kum, 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 all this yeah. stuff, you know, Cadillac and all this stuff. You want to play? Yeah, uh, let me try it. Look, my baby drew up in a brand new Cadillac. Well, my baby. That's a, that was the sound, and it was the Beatles sound I liked. Yeah. Uh, uh, though the Beatles they didn't play any Fender, I didn't see any any footage with the Beatles with the, with the, the Fender. Fender you know? Very rare. Very I rare. Think, so uh, Rick and Becker, I tried. Rick and Becker was very hard for me. The little neck for John Lenz, yeah. you know. The, but this guitar, you know, this I mean, guitar, it, it, it fits your body. So yeah, know. we played Beatles songs like I could play something with this potty here. Like yeah. you don't realize how much I need you. Yeah, the, 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 we call it the orgel effect. Yeah, the Germans call it the orgel effect. Yeah. <laughs> I found the guitar with the orgel effect, and I had it, and it was yeah. really, really great. And all, and and then I start my comedy stuff, and I used. Uh, the, the, sorry, yeah. they do this. Uh, 
I think I love you. Okay, we but we give you the the, the real dirty sound as well. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, give me the dirty sound, please. The, the dirty sound is here. I didn't even know how to handle it. In those days, in those, in those days, it was just the volume up and down and the three different pickup, and that's all there was. We had a not real amp. We had an amp, an AC30. I had an AC30 later on. Yeah. First we had a Dina Cord or something, you know, cheap. Where everybody was in the bass and and even the Gesangsanlage was nice of English. PA system. The PA system with the voice. Yeah. Little lady, you got all on one speaker. And, and, and we did for, for parties we played, and they not so loud, yeah. <laughs> we had troubles, you know. Yeah. But they didn't know what what was coming up. Yeah, but did you do the Hendrix thing? I mean, you you've been inspired. Uh, and now, I don't know. No, no, I, I was. I used it for my comedy stuff. I played my own song, like, like Schwamm drüber Blut. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I think that, yeah. My song, I could it on a folk club, you know, it was very quiet because he had an electric guitar. He was like, what is he doing? What is he doing? That's not good, you toy. I'm not supposed to play electric guitar. Yeah, but this is a Fender. Oh. oh. If you have a good Fender, you are a good man, huh? Yeah, you are a good man. Yeah. 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 And to me, this guitar actually talks in a way. It talks. It's it talks. very expressive, you know? When, when I compared three different Fenders yeah. yesterday, I found out this was the one that talks the most to me and has the most expression, the most dynamic. And I mean, it is not because it's your guitar, it's just because I had three and I compared oh, yeah, them. Yeah, 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 right, right. That, that's, I'm very, very flattered, you know, because this is nice that you tell me. That. I didn't know that it was no, such a precious thing, but I, I played it in the 60s and then I went to study arts in Hamburg and then it got lost and suddenly a good, good guitar player named Karl Kalm from Udo Lindenberg from oh, the yeah. rock group and he played in America, he played everywhere. Yeah, and, and he had so this, tall. And he's he so tall. sold me this again. Ah, he's, he's, he sold you your own guitar. My own back. guitar, because I wanted it back. That's my guitar. Give it to me. He gave it back to me. He sold it to me for a little price. Friendship, you know, friendship. Because yeah. he comes from my home, we are friends. So it was okay. And I still have it here. And I take it in my sleeping room, I have it with me. And I try, I have a little AC30, that's a, a damp, you know. Yeah. And I play with it. That was wonderful. And I loved it. I still love it today. And I, I, so this is this is a picture. Can you come with the camera a little closer? Yeah. yeah. Where's the camera? And this is Otto. This is in the Otto middle. with the minute. He's a Fender with, Stratocaster of 1964. With this guitar. <laughs> with this guitar. Exactly. And this it's guitar. true. Yeah. The story is unbelievable. What is this? Is this guitar number one? Yeah, this is guitar this number is one. Guitar this, number is, one. This, is, this is the I, world of vintage guitars. I love it here. I bring my guitars here. I pick yeah. up my guitars here. And it's uh, Thomas is the owner here. Yeah. And he does such a great job. I'm very proud to be here. I remember. Yeah, and, he, and now you are here. Thomas, the great producer, composer. <laughs> and he shows me some grips and some licks. And I'm very happy to be here. Can I rent this room? No. <laughs> it's it's great to be in this candy store room here. Yeah, it is. Surrounded it is. It's by... It's not only Fender. There are more guitars. There's Gretsch. There's everything. Yeah. They have everything here. And vintage stuff, you know. Even from Keith Richard guitars. He doesn't give it to me because I'm not a good quality, you know. But uh, one day, one day, Keith, I'm going to play your lead uh, guitar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's... Uh... Take one of us from Stones. Let's hear it. Uh, from Stones? Dun, dun, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't him. Let's talk, let's talk. Let's talk. Otherwise, we never stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, music. How important was music in your life? No, music was important for me, but because. I started, I played guitar since I was six. My yeah. father gave me a guitar 
and I played a little ukulele with six string, you know, okay, so yeah. I only started with it. <laughs> yeah. And then there comes a, a Wanda guitar, yeah. and then, like a, <laughs> I was a Boy Scout, and with 11 years I had my first show in a little department store, and I played the babysitter book, been the babysitter von der ganze Zeit. So my way to comedy was this, you know, and I won, I won the book, Boy, Mutiny on the Bounty. Ah, and then, okay. And 30 Deutschmarks, yeah. Uh, and and so it started, and then I played with 40. I played already in a band. The music was important for me. I, we had no record player, nothing, but I heard the, I have a radio, and I heard the Beatles, Radio Luxembourg, and I heard the Beatles. And that and was did you become, influenced me so much. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. Did you become a comedian through music? Was yes. kind of, so the music was your first step into connecting music with. Music was my first step. Like. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, it was my first step into comedy. Right. Because. Uh, I played with a band for many years, and then I went to Hamburg to study arts. And during this, and Hamburg has the possibilities, you can play music in little clubs, yeah. like where the Beatles played there too, you right. play in the, little clubs, and you get to five Deutsche Bucks also play a little shtick studio. And, I, and I, I was very nervous, and I, in the intermission, my, my, my phone fell down, and I tried to excuse, I'm, too, I'm sorry, I'm too nervous. I'm too, and the audio loves the excuses more than my music. So uh, uh, I, I, I continued I, ex excuses, and I... <coughs> It, this seems to be this seems to be a, a typical way. I know another comedian called Helge Schneider from Germany. Oh, he's the best. And and he was playing in Peter Burs Brösel machine. Yeah, back I know, in this, I know. And he was always taking the piss out of Peter because he said, "Oh, Peter, you cannot even tune the guitar." And then his, you know, uh, comments were loved even more by the audience than the real music. He's unbelievable. But why do we have to talk about other comedians now? I don't like. No, this. no, no, What's no, going no. On here? Yeah, yeah. Just okay, kidding, but just it, you know, yeah. I love Helge very much. He's a great. He's a great musician. He plays piano. Yeah. Plays oh. every instrument. We, we we see each other very very often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue. Yeah. I'm impressed. About it. I'm always impressed about artists that they are not only playing an instrument there or being a comedian there paint do you paint yes i do paintings i, I still paint like ron wood <laughs> ah yeah I, I, like exactly. everybody does but i painted since i was a kid you know, my father's a painter you yeah. know and he paints walls and everything but i do little, little cartoon figures in, in, at, at school we do the little cartoons you know, and so I draw this little elephant and it got, it got, it got very important, all this, it got, uh, ah. this little thing here, you know. This is, so your, this, uh, this is your world famous Ottifant, right? Yes, that's the Ottifant, yeah. You know what? This is my rip off of my old guitar. This is a new guitar that somebody made old with, uh, you know, with all the oh, dirt. Oh, so no, it's not a real, it's not an ori original. No, it, this is like but two it looks, weeks. It looks, it looks. It uh, looks, my niece did it for me. She, she was wow, getting uh, all the grease on that. So it's counterfeit. It's a counterfeit. Wonderful. Can you, can you, sell it for can you do the Otti fund for me and my niece here? Yes. Just on the back. What, what, what for Thomas? For yeah, Thomas? Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. And um, the niece? You must remember <laughs> the name of the yeah, niece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le niece. Leonie. 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 Okay, here's yeah. the Otti fund. Otti fund. How cool is that? See, this is... But now it's one thousand five hundred dollar more. But I won't sell it because it's so nice. I buy it from you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so proud of that dirt on the guitar. It's really good. Yeah, I it, like it. It's, you built this yourself? Yeah. Oh, this guy is unbelievable. Yeah. So, you know, this is the thing about old guitars. To me, the old guitars don't only sound great. Um, I couldn't play a, a polished new guitar. It would feel like I'm oh, wearing the yeah. wrong. Okay, okay. You know, it depends I, on what you what you what you want from that guitar. You yeah, know? I want a dirty, sweaty guitar uh, because yeah, I make because dirty you're a dirty, sweaty guy. You yeah, know? sure. But I'm a clean, nice, sober man, and I like to play <laughs> new guitars. But but the Fender is something else. You know, when I play when I play nylon strings, it's different. But the Fender, you can play anything. You know, you can play Absolutely. nylon parts. You can do 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 sticks like this. You know, you can even open. You can, A crazy really, little thing really. called Love by the Queen. It's, it's, wow. So you can pick two on this thing, and yeah. I like to pick, that's why my nails are for. Yeah. You know? Did you write your own lyrics to that song? Yeah, I have to, because <laughs> the Germans like my parodies, my impressions when I do fairy tales and, and I use songs, well known songs. And do and your and own change, little. Do my own little sticks, yeah. yeah. I, I love that I a do. lot. Yeah. 
So, hey, I think um, we heard a lot about your beautiful Good. guitar. And to me, this guitar is so special. To me, you are so special. You are special for me, and I like my guitar, and I hope I can take it back home. Because oh, sure. do, do you, do, we, we have a bag for it. And, uh, okay. <laughs> and I hope to, next time we see you, teach me some more stuff. I, I, I teach you my licks, and we have more fun. Hey, Good. it's been a real big pleasure to have Otto Varkas here at this little show. Suddenly, I feel so great. Thank you, okay. Thomas. Big pressure. Okay. Hold on, 80. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs>